As we all know, SpaceX is now in the final stages of preparing for the next Starship flight. While the quick turnaround between flights has surprised a lot of people, what's even more surprising are some of the changes SpaceX has made to Starship, especially with the heat shield. These adjustments are a big step in SpaceX's mission to make Starship a fully reusable spacecraft, and we'll break it all down in today's video. Before we delve any deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates on Starship and SpaceX's other groundbreaking achievements. One of the most significant changes in Flight 6 is the experimental heat shield configuration on Starship. SpaceX has left entire sections of heat shield tiles off in certain areas, particularly near the forward flap. This change is intentional, designed to test Starship's resilience and evaluate how its underlying structure holds up when exposed to re-entry conditions without full tile coverage. This approach is especially focused on evaluating areas that might serve as future attachment points for the Starship catch mechanism. The forward flap connection points, for instance, are crucial for controlling Starship's descent and stability as it re-enters Earth's atmosphere. Leaving some sections around these flaps untiled allows SpaceX to study whether these parts can handle high heat and pressure without compromising structural integrity. SpaceX is also testing new secondary thermal protection materials in these exposed sections. If these materials perform well, they could lead to simpler and more lightweight designs in future Starship models, as they might reduce the need for extensive tile coverage across the entire spacecraft. The use of heat shield tiles on Starship is fundamental for surviving atmospheric re-entry. When Starship re-enters Earth's atmosphere, it encounters air friction that creates temperatures exceeding 1,650 degrees Celsius. Without protection, this heat could easily damage the vehicle. To manage this, SpaceX employs ceramic heat shield tiles, similar to those used on the Space Shuttle, but more advanced in terms of design and material composition. Unlike the shuttle's silica tiles, Starship's tiles are reportedly made from ceramic matrix composites which are stronger, more durable, and less prone to damage, making them better suited for a reusable vehicle. The tiles themselves are hexagonal. Hexagons fit together without leaving gaps, covering the vehicle's surface completely and reducing the risk of hot gases slipping through. This layout also provides strong structural support, as each tile is reinforced by its neighboring tiles, helping prevent cracks or shifts during the stresses of re-entry. This stability is crucial, because even a minor gap could allow heat to penetrate and damage the vehicle's structure. Removing tiles around the forward flap and other connection points also has implications for the Starship catch mechanism. Catching the vehicle mid-descent with the large mechanical arms, or chopsticks, on the launch tower is a complex task. If certain areas around the attachment points don't need tiles, SpaceX could create more robust connection points that integrate more easily with the chopstick arms. Perhaps the most critical part of Flight 6 is the in-space engine reignition test, scheduled at 37 minutes and 46 seconds after launch. This test is crucial as it allows Starship to perform in-orbit maneuvers, a capability essential for returning to base, delivering payloads, and eventually refueling in space. SpaceX has suggested that if camera views are available, we could witness this engine reignition in space, a sight that promises to be one of the mission's most thrilling moments. At the core of this test are SpaceX's Raptor engines. SpaceX has spent years developing and refining these engines, with the latest iteration being Raptor 3. The Raptor 3 engines are a major leap in engine technology for reusable spaceflight. Running on a full-flow staged combustion cycle, they use a mixture of cryogenic liquid methane and liquid oxygen, or methalox, as fuel, which provides a higher specific impulse and lower costs compared to traditional rocket fuels. The Raptor 3 is designed to generate around 250 tons of thrust, making it one of the most powerful and efficient rocket engines in the world. This high thrust and efficiency are essential for the in-space maneuvers that SpaceX aims to accomplish with Starship. Despite the ongoing advancements in the Raptor 3's design and testing, Flight 6 will still utilize these Raptor 2 engines. When comparing Raptor 2 and Raptor 3 to other well-known engines, it's clear that SpaceX's designs stand out in the industry. 
For instance, the RS-25 engines used on NASA's Space Launch System are among the most powerful liquid fuel engines ever built, producing around 512,000 pounds of thrust in a vacuum. However, these engines run on liquid hydrogen and oxygen, a propellant combination that, while highly efficient, is more complex and costly to handle compared to methane and oxygen. Hydrolox engines are also difficult to design for reuse, with each RS-25 unit costing around $146 million. By contrast, Raptor engines are designed with reusability in mind from the start, enabling SpaceX to rapidly refurbish and relaunch Starship. Another notable comparison is with the BE-4 engine developed by Blue Origin, which also runs on Methalox, and powers the upcoming Vulcan rocket by United Launch Alliance. The BE-4 produces around 550,000 pounds of thrust at sea level, putting it roughly in the same class as Raptor in terms of power. However, Raptor's full-flow staged combustion cycle is generally considered more advanced and efficient than the oxygen-rich staged combustion used in BE-4, providing Raptor with a better specific impulse and efficiency at high thrust levels. Most of us are probably wondering when we'll see another starship lift off, and it turns out we won't have to wait long. SpaceX has the sixth test flight scheduled for November 18th, just four weeks after the last Starship launch. This is one of the quickest turnarounds SpaceX has managed with Starship launches, and it's largely because of a unique move by the Federal Aviation Administration. For the first time, the FAA granted SpaceX two launch licenses at once, covering both Flight 5 and the upcoming Flight 6. Typically, SpaceX waits months between launches as they work through the FAA's approval process. Each launch license usually involves extensive paperwork, reviews, and additional inspections, which can add months to the wait. However, with the FAA's dual approval on October 12th, SpaceX was able to start prepping for Flight 6 as soon as Flight 5 successfully completed. To get ready for the upcoming launch, SpaceX has focused on several specific steps, beginning with Booster 13, which will power this mission. This booster has been rolled out to the launch site at Starbase, Texas, and has gone through a series of static fire tests to ensure the performance of the Raptor engines and other critical systems. These static fires are crucial pre-flight tests that help confirm each engine is firing correctly and that all onboard systems function as they should under launch conditions. With these tests completed, Booster 13 is essentially ready for its role in the mission. Ship 31, which serves as the upper stage of Starship, has also been prepped for integration with the booster. For Flight 6, SpaceX is testing a new heat shield layout on Ship 31, leaving certain sections untilled to examine how well the vehicle withstands re-entry heat without full coverage. This test is part of an ongoing evaluation to potentially simplify Starship's design, reduce weight, and improve reusability, giving engineers data on alternative thermal protection materials. Ahead of the launch, SpaceX will also conduct a wet dress rehearsal, where the fully assembled Starship vehicle is loaded with propellants and taken through a simulated countdown. This test stops just before engine ignition, allowing engineers to check the fueling systems, confirm there are no leaks, and verify that all countdown procedures are working as expected. SpaceX has run wet dress rehearsal for previous Starship flights, so we're likely to see the same for Flight 6. As launch day approaches, final inspections of the vehicle and launch systems will take place. This includes checking structural components, verifying communication systems, and running software checks to ensure every part is ready for launch. Just before the flight, a launch readiness review will assess overall readiness. That's all for today's video. Make sure to subscribe for more updates. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in the next one.